Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. In today's video, I am taking some of our new dies and altering them to make this hamburger and fries card for dad. So the die set that I'm using today is the Backyard Barbecue die set. You can see here, you can build a little barbecue. It is so cute. I've already made um, a card with this that I love, but when playing with it, I realized I could probably use these pieces to create a hamburger. So I wanted to give it a try. There's the pieces I cut out, but I needed a couple repeat pieces. So these are the pieces I'm using from the Backyard Barbecue. I also pulled out our new layering bear mug and did the like elliptical piece that's going to be tomatoes. I pulled out the layering lawn set, die cut this little piece, that's going to be my lettuce. And I did all of this from white cardstock so I could color it. But I knew I needed to trim down the bottom of the barbecue to be more like the bottom bun for my hamburger. So trimmed it down and now it's time to color. I am starting out with E11 and I'm coming at this going from the edge to the middle. I'm going to leave a center highlight on this. So you can see I'm leaving the center white and then I'm going to come in with a darker marker E13. This is more golden. It kind of gives me that, you know, more feel of a actual hamburger bun. And so I'll just go back and forth between those two colors until I get this, you know, to the point where I'm thinking, okay, hamburger bun. And when I set the two together, I realized this is still a little bit too big. So I hooked it to that paper tape there and trimmed it down again to make it much thinner. Also, I felt like it kind of looked like a pan at this point. So I rounded off the bottom corners. When doing that, I realized I don't really want this little lip here. So I trimmed that down as well, but this die was a good starting off point that got me to a hamburger bun. And because I trimmed off the little you know, notches or rounded parts on the bottom, I did the same on the top. So they would look more uniform. And I'm gonna color the top bun exactly how I colored the bottom one. And there you can see what they look like in the end. Now I'm working on the hamburger part. Now this would be a detail you'd add to the lid or base of the barbecue. And uh, now I'm gonna color it to look like a hamburger. So I used E59 and E49, leaving a center highlight again and a little light space that I can add some flex. So it gives it a little bit more of a dimension like an actual hamburger. This is, you know, definitely a thin burger, but it still works, I think. I did the second piece to look like cheese. This is gonna get a lot of stuff layered on top of it. So it's gonna not be as thick as it appears right here. The next is the tomatoes. I'm using R17 and R27, giving the edge just a little bit of a darker color, which I'm not sure showed up very good in the end, but they look very tomato-like nonetheless. So two tomatoes on there and then pickles. So this would be, if you're putting food on the grill, this die piece would be like a hamburger on the grill, but I colored them to look like pickles. And then we have our lettuce with YG05 and YG06 also. Um, but a lot of the lettuce is going to be covered up by the bun. So I don't think the extra blending was quite necessary. So there's all the pieces to make the bun. Now to hook all of this together, I just cut a piece of vellum. In case you could see part of it, you, I didn't want it to be a solid color of cardstock, so I decided to use vellum. You could also use like a window sheet. You could go narrower than I did. I think my piece is two inches, um, two and a fourth, I don't know, somewhere in there. And then um, just glued everything together. Some of it overlaps like on the cheese and some of it just lays right onto the vellum. So it was a good way for me to hook this all together. And you could also just glue it right down to the card, but I knew mine was gonna be popped up. So. So I wanted a little base for it. So glued that all together, trimmed off any excess vellum that showed out the top, but this is not quite done. I brought in my Simply White Nouveau Drops to create my sesame seed bun. Um, this was pretty nerve wracking, I have to say. Like, if this doesn't go well, I, I mean, I guess I could just redo the top bun, but I, I was quite nervous. But in the end, this is the thing, the detail that totally made this hamburger. I love it. So cool. Look at that. Oh gosh, I love it. Okay, now we need some fries. This is the stitched pocket die set. I don't want the pocket. I want the flaps. I feel like the flaps on the edge make the perfect French fries. What do you think? 
<laughs> so I cut those off, but you don't have to cut the whole pocket. You can use a little strip and cut strips and then, um, you know, conserve your paper a little bit. I'm bringing back that Y38 marker that I colored my cheese with and the E13 to give it a golden touch to add a shadow to all the edges of my fries. I think I did like 16 or 18 fries. I don't know. I kind of lost track, but I did do some of the shorter ones as well. So we're going to set the fries aside and then I'm going to do what I am having be my tablecloth, a picnic tablecloth. So I'm starting with crackling campfire and inking up the reverse floral background. Now this background stamp was super popular in our last release. So if it's out of stock, you might have to put your email in to be notified when it comes back. I'm not sure if it's out or back or what by the time you're watching this video. So I'm going to layer stamp. I'm going to do the double line plaid, which is from our latest release that just came out the other day. I'm going to stamp this over the top with my VersaFine Onyx black ink, and then I'm going to emboss this with black powder to give it that kind of um, tablecloth look, like that picnic tablecloth effect, or almost like um, a bandana look. I don't know. What do you think? Are you getting my vibe here? <laughs> Yeah, and then the black powder is going to go on. I had to make sure that this background was really dry before I stamped the second layer um, because I was using Distress Oxide. So I did heat set that red ink before stamping with the black and then adding that embossing powder, and it worked out great. I am going to trim this down, so if the edges don't look good, that's okay. I have this really lightweight piece of cardstock here, and it is... Um, wetted with water and crinkled up because I wanted to have like the wrapper that goes around a hamburger and maybe you flatten it out on the picnic table and you put out your hamburger and your fries and you don't really need a plate. So that's what that's going to be. I'm going to trim that down also, but I'm just really getting everything ready to build my card. So I need a background and I'm doing the tumbled glass distress oxide ink and our puffy cloud stencil and creating a background on a piece of cardstock that is five inches by five inches. I felt this was the best size for everything to fit on. I really thought I was going to do like a mini slimline card, but it was not tall enough for my super fat hamburger. <laughs> so uh, five by five it is. And I just did three layers of clouds and then kind of just cleaned my brush off there at the bottom so the clouds weren't so stark white, but that in area ends up not showing at all. Okay, let's build the card. First up is is that tablecloth piece. You can see I've trimmed it down and it fits on my card perfectly. The lines are not 100% straight. No big deal. I've got my wrapper, my hamburger wrapper. <laughs> so I'm sticking that down um, after I trimmed it a little bit. It was just a little bit too big. So I just kind of trimmed as I went. And because it's so crinkly, I did my um, tape runner and liquid adhesive there. So I know it's not going to move. And then I roughed up the edges a little bit more. And now it's time to add our fries. So I'm just gluing these down in a pile one by one. I guess you could make a pile and glue it down but I wanted to make sure that it fit onto my paper. So I just glued it like this. It was kind of fun to build up a stack. I was a little worried it wasn't looking random enough. So um, I just I just kept going until I felt like, yeah, that's the look I want. So it's kind of fun. I liked it. I like the little ones right here, adding those on top. That was super cool. Um, also, don't worry, these will get salted. Do you ever have that like these fries are not salty enough. Don't worry. I'm going to salt these. They're going to be great. So I am popping up my hamburger. You see, I left a little opening there. I also added liquid adhesive because it's going over those French fries and that crinkly paper. So now for that opening behind my hamburger where I didn't put a foam square, I am adding a sentiment on a stick. <laughs> this is the um, sentiment. Let's meet up from our um, new stamp set. I forgot the name. I'm going to put it on the screen. It oh, here, the Ungrelievable. That's it. Ungrelievable. This is a great set to go with the barbecue. It's got punny sentiments. It's got like a steak, a turkey leg, mushrooms, kebabs. It's so fun. So I'm going to do the Let's Meet Up 
stamped it, embossed it with black, die cut it, stuck it onto a red strip, and then I'm sticking it down to a little like toothpick. I'm gonna cut that down and then I can stick it so it's like stuck into my hamburger. I love this, I love it. And then we'll add uh, the word dad from the Simply Sentimental Dad, which is also a new set from our latest release. Now this doesn't have a lot of sub sentiments because it's made to go with the Simply Sentimental Mom. All the sub sentiments in the mom set will work with the dad set. So that's super cool. All right, for my scripty little die cut dad, I am using some of our new full adhesive sheets, sticking that to the back of my red cardstock. I feel like this super scripty dad kind of looks like it could have been written in ketchup. That's why I chose red. <laughs> These are the things I think about when I'm making a card. All right, so I'm going to poke out the centers there, and the die cut is stuck in my die with the adhesive exposed. So I just laid the die down on my shadow layer, poked it out with my little pickup tool, and it's stuck there perfectly. Like, I'm sure I couldn't repeat that again, but it worked out so great today. I popped that up on my card, and now it's time for that salt I was mentioning. So I'm just using my white gel pen and adding some dots to there, and it look kind of looks like kosher salt, like really big salt, but it adds the effect I was going for, and I love it. you got to have salt on your fries, like I feel. I love it. All right, I wanted my paper just a little bit more like um, curled up and wrinkly, so I'm using the edge of my pen to help scrunch it up and bend it, and I like that. I love that, like, really used look. Adding this to my card base, which I ended up doing five and a fourth by five and a fourth. Hopefully I'll um, have an envelope that this fits, maybe a six by six envelope. It just needed that white edge. And I think I'm gonna put a gift card in here so I could actually take my dad out for lunch. And that would be a fun Father's Day gift for him. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by and letting me share this card with you. It was so much fun to make. I love using my dies in other ways. So uh, stay tuned. You might see more of that here on the Trinity Stamps channel. I'll be back again next Saturday with a new video just for you. Thanks for watching and come see us on Instagram and Facebook too. Bye.